Hello, this is Mr. Hirschner, Principal of Student Affairs at Hanover Middle School. Welcome, ready for a, a great year. Mrs. Hilliard told you a couple important things and I have also some things to share. Just uh, reminders, things that you need to know either if uh, hearing it for the first time or if uh, for returning students, um, hearing it again and, and know that these are, are important things. But um, first and foremost, safety. So here at Hanover Middle School, we work really hard to keep things very safe. So you can walk in the building and not have to ever worry uh, that this is a very, very safe place. So you can though do a big part in making sure it stays safe because uh, we like to say here, if you see something or hear something, then say something. So you are one of the best people and, and one of the best ways to keep our school safe because your eyes, your ears, if you hear someone talking about something they shouldn't be, um, or if they have something with them that they shouldn't have, make sure that you tell someone, go to a teacher, tell them, let them know. Don't confront the person, but go in and make sure you report it. And again, that's for your safety and for everyone's safety so that we all never have to worry about any, any things getting into our school that shouldn't be here. So we're talking about weapons, pocket knives, um, obviously guns, um, anything that looks like a weapon. Uh, also drugs, alcohol, those things have no place here in the school. So if you ever see them or hear people talking about them, again, go to a teacher, let them know so we don't have these things here at our school. Um, other things, bullying, um, and fighting. So first of all, reminder that bullying is something, bullying is not necessarily just some uh, a mean comment or hurtful comment that someone says. That happens sometimes. It just is an inappropriate comment. It shouldn't happen. And maybe you kind of walk away from that person or you just tell them, don't say that to me again. Uh, but someone who is doing something repeatedly over and over, a group of people are doing things over and over, or they're isolating, isolating you and like doing things to, to ridicule you and things repeatedly. You don't have to stand for that. You shouldn't. Talk to a teacher, talk to a guidance counselor. You may also uh, do a bullying form. You can go onto our district or onto our uh, district website and you can submit a bullying form that will come directly to me and our guidance counselors and we'll deal with it that same day. You can also do it in the paper format. Um, and again, it, and it might be something you might have to do a couple of times. Again, you may not know what happens once you submit that something, that student will be addressed for it. You may not know about it or see it, but it will happen. So again, if it's something that continues to happen to you, continue to report it. And then each time that happens, more things progressively will be dealt with with that student, talking to the parents, whatever, but it will get stopped as long as you continue to make someone aware and report it. So don't forget, bully reporting forms, talk to a guidance counselor, talk to your teachers first of all. Um, fighting. Be very clear about this. At no point should ever a student um, hit, kick, punch, any of those types of things. If you choose to do that in a moment of anger, for whatever the reason, um, the, the punishments will be severe. Again, in most cases, if there's a, an incident of, of fighting, uh, police will be called. Parents obviously will be called. You will probably have to be uh, out of school uh, for some period of time. So um, it is not something that we take lightly. There's never a place for that. If you're, um, so again, physical contact, any hitting, punching, kicking, things like that, have no place here at this school. So make sure that we don't have a single incident this year. Also then with bullying, there's also something called cyberbullying. Um, some of the social media that you might um, be on, depending if your parents allow you to do that. So um, again, social media can be fine, but if you're getting on there and you're getting on with groups of people and you are posting nasty messages about other students or other people, you're using poor language, doing different things with that. And the, even if it's done outside of school, if it comes into school and people are having arguments and disagreements and it's causing issues here at school, the stuff that you're, you're messaging in the evenings at home, then that becomes our problem too. And we will deal with that and address that. And again, just like any form of bullying or uh, other things like that, it can get to the extent of having to have police get involved if it gets to that point. Never want it to get that far. Um, so we will certainly tell you to stop. We'll talk to your parents about getting you to stop. But if it, can, it continues beyond that, uh, it becomes a cyber bullying issue or inappropriate. We will, um, we will have to take that next step. So make sure that does not become a problem. Also your Chromebooks, uh, again, on that same thing, you all are issued a Chromebook. It is, it is the school's Chromebook and that you're allowed to use. So treat it carefully. It does, if you're getting in fifth grade, that Chromebook will be yours for your entire time here at the middle school. So you wanna make sure you take care of it. Never put it on the floor where it could be stepped on. Never sit it, prop it on an edge where it could be easily bumped and knocked onto the floor. 
Uh, your chargers, uh, don't be ripping them out of the wall or the things where they get bent easily. And those chargers cost about $25 to replace. So take care of, of, of that Chromebook, put it in a safe place. You're gonna need that daily. Make sure it's charged every day you come to school. So the Chromebooks are incredibly important. And again, unfortunately, and again, an accident could happen if you pay your $15 and an accident does happen, it'll be fixed, no questions asked. If beyond that, it continues to, to have uh, get damage and things like that, you're gonna have to pay for it. And ultimately Chromebooks will run, you know, around $300 to replace. And parents obviously won't wanna pay that if you're being careless with it. So be careful with your Chromebooks. Your passwords are your passwords. They are not to be shared even with your best friend. So that anyone who gets on to a Chromebook, if you give them the password and they do something with your Chromebook they should not do, you will still be responsible. So again, never give out your password. Never let your your a friend or anyone else use your Chromebook. Even if you're trying to be nice, they have theirs. They should have theirs. And if they forget it, they can get a loaner. Uh, you don't ever need to give your Chromebook to another person. It's yours. You need to take care of it. You are responsible for that. Um, dress code. Um, make sure just very simple things with dress code that um, you know. I like to say dress comfortable. Make sure you're covered. Um, as far as make sure it's appropriate. You ever have to look in the mirror and say, gosh, I wonder if it's okay if I wear this today? The answer is probably no. If you have to question yourself or you double or you have to think about it, go with something else that is not going to be an issue. Comfortable, sneakers, things that are covered. Um, that's really all you need to do with that. So keep it simple. If you want more specifics on that, look at our student handbook and it details out the dress code for you if, you, if you'd like to look at that. Uh, lastly, discipline. So as far as just behavior rules here at Hanover Middle School, we go with pride. We're talking about being prepared. So making sure that you have your classwork, your materials, you show up every day, Chromebook charge, you're ready to go, you have what you need. That's a big part of starting the day. It, just, it begins with that. Respectful, huge. So again, PR, pride, um, respectful, make sure that you are respectful to your peers, to every everyone here and your teachers, your every staff member, st secretary, custodian, everything respect is a huge thing and you will you give respect you will get respect uh integrity your honesty your values make sure that you you have those here as, as you go through the day and as you interact with people and again you'll have a better experience at school d in pride is for dependable so again knowing that as teachers they can we can trust you um that we can we can give you assignments jobs to do and know that you'll you'll follow through and that we you can be trusted being dependable is, is a big part of it and lastly E for engaged. Um, again, that you when you're in class, you are attentive. You are you are with the teacher. You're listening. You're following those directions. So again, pride, prepared, respectful, integrity, dependable, and engaged. Don't forget it. So lastly, with behavior and things like that, um, again, if you're if you're following those things, you will enjoy school and there will not be issues. If you uh, and. It, I guess I should say if, if, you know, every once in a while you might make a mistake, you might forget homework, you might, you might uh, maybe make a comment to someone that you shouldn't and, maybe, and you apologize and you're, you're going to work hard to, to eliminate that again. Everyone makes mistakes, not an issue. If you're doing the same types of mistakes and you're doing these things to be mean to others or hurtful or you're not being respectful to people repeatedly, you won't be here at school. So as far as, you know, we, you will be given warnings by your teacher, obviously, if it, if it comes to, to me, I will give you, you know, a warning, talk to parents, Mrs. Hilliard to do the same. And beyond that, you may then be told that you will not be able to, to come here to school and you'll have to do your learning remotely at home every day. Um, so again, to be here is a privilege. You have to follow those rules. Um, again, the rules that Mrs. Hilliard spoke about as far as health and safety protocols, uh, but also just our, our rules for behavior here at school. So if you do those things, you will enjoy school much, much more and everyone else will as well. So with that, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to a, a fantastic year, be it a unique year. Uh, it, it's gonna be an interesting one, but I think it's also gonna be a great one, and one that we're gonna, we're gonna get through and look back on someday very fondly. So it's nice speaking with you and I will see you around. Take care.